silver failing to sustain above this top of the trend line levels and breach sharply till towards 20, 22 30 22 40 levels now I told you there is very strong resistance here at 2460 levels. It tried to breach for a slightly higher level at 2465 and has reversed sharply giving a sharp red candle there. So now what to expect next week? Which position you should take in order to profit? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell which will keep you updated with the daily analysis and targets of silver which i share very early in the day with the asia shares and the do was that also let's start first we'll look into charts followed with indicators and towards the end i will give you the trading levels and strategy for next now see interestingly silver last week tried to breach this top of the trend line on the daily charts we have seen it giving stronger resistance on the upside however this time it in fact it has seen 2465 before breaching on the downside now look at this silver so far was trading within this channel between 2450 to 2350 and on the downside 23 dollars now it has come to the next level see always remember two dollars move there 2450 to 2250 and then a stronger break on the downside so now also 22 dollars are going to remain a very very stronger support for silver because below that it will again fall into the 20 to 22 dollars block in which it is trying to trade now also look at silver here we had seen silver's movement i told you it has created the bottom here multiple candles failing to breach below 1800 and then higher lows were seen here since then it has traded in this bullish channel now after a long long time it has breached this bullish channel and traded bearish so after multiple weeks, almost three to four months, it has break it has breached on the downside. Now see this. First thing it is clear that it is willing to complete this journey on the downside till $22 levels. That is the first and very important. And then the most cru crucial support here for silver, which is going to remain at $21. So because see it has consolidated here seen this rise and now trying to complete this journey before it is it looks forward to a, a, an up move or a reverse and hence we should not conclude that the bearishness in silver is over also the second part is see this is a breakout candle after uh, weeks of consolidation this is the first breakout candle which also indicates that there could be subsequent bearish candles which might take it further low still towards 22 dollars and 2150 and then 21 dollar levels also in the next few days so that is another important part also if you look at silver's movement here so far we can see silver has been trading with this as a stronger resistance on the upside and also this is a downward trending channel so whenever it is achieved the highs it is followed with a drop till the bottom there highs and drop till almost flat levels at around 22 dollars then a retracement and then the sharp drop so this time again it is trying to reverse from the highs of this channel which is also giving me a bearish indication however remember 22 dollar levels very very strong support there 22 22 40 levels very strong support there and then till 21 dollar levels it has got very very strong support i will not consider this as bearish till the time silver trades about 21 dollars and it can possibly reverse any point of time till then now let's have a look at the week on the weekly charts too similar is the observation and this also i shared in my annual review for silver and see precisely it is reversed from the same levels now looking downwards and same observation on the silver weekly charts also this is the first bearish candle and ending it in a bearish note with a flat bottom indicates that still there is bearishness and this is the first breakout candle we can possibly expect a second candle which may take it further lows till towards 21.50 or 21 dollar levels also so now once it trades below 22.20 next week you can sell here for 22 dollars and 21.50 and 21 dollar levels also now also look at the weekly charts another important observation is lower lows and flat top now this also makes it a fairly consolidation zone just be careful of 22 dollar levels achieving these levels it can try to reverse and then 23 is going to be the prime important resistance zone because this is the box in which it was trading and if it tries to enter in this box possibly we can see it trading again sideways for a little while and hence you should be cautious of 23 dollar levels on the upside now let's have a look at the monthly 
On the monthly charts too, this is a downward trending channel in which silver has been trading since couple of years now. And the highs are done now. It is looking to reverse and see the look at this candle and this candle almost. And this is a reversal indication right now. And after achieving the highs, it is trying to reverse. So now first 2220 and then 22 dollar levels are going to remain important and possibly silver may trade sideways for a little while within this zone itself within this box itself achieving 22 we can see it possibly retracing a bit so yes this makes again 22 20 22 dollar levels very strong support level for silver because below which certainly bore bearish momentum can try to bring it till towards 21 dollars and below levels and hence one should trade with caution on the downside on the upside remember this set 23 is still achievable but Till the time it trades or brings the candle in green that is at 2360, 2370 levels. Till the time it fails to bring the candle in green, do not consider this as bullish. And probably even if it tries to reverse towards the end of the month, we can see then in the month of March, again a red candle. And hence we should be cautious now till towards 2370, $24 levels on the upside. Now let's have a look with the help of indicators indicators on the daily chart see the 20 and 50 period moving average which were trading with divergence till now i have started to converge with just sharp red candle and now they are looking forward to a cross crossover they have not yet crossed over remember this fact they have not yet crossed over however are very close enough to converge and cross over this makes this zone at 23 50 to 2370 as a very very strong resistance zone and only and only if it breaks past on the upside we can consider this to be bullish here also remember the fact that this is trading extremely outside the bollinger bands and hence first thing is yes the bollinger band width might get expanded at the same time achieving the lows it can reverse a little on the upside so that the width of the bollinger bands also get remain expanded at the same time it may get a pullback to trade within the bollinger band for a couple of days before looking forward to drop again that is the first part now look at the 100 period moving average which is now situated at around 22 dollar levels which is again going to remain a very very strong support as we saw so possibility exists that it can take the support from 22 or 2180 levels and reverse from there this possibility is also very strong here now see the directional movement is again trading with divergence this is extremely bearish rsi is looking down this is a bearish indication and the MACD has taken a sharp dip and now has come below zero levels and it is trading with divergence this is also indicating bearishness rsi is looking down it has taken a breakout out of the zone there so yes all the indicators now are into the bearish territory now look at the weekly charts on the weekly chart the 20 and 50 period moving averages were about to cross over they failed to do so and yes uh, if this crossover happens certainly it will bring silver into bullish zone but however right now it is trying to refrain silver from trading into bullish category right now again 22 dollar levels which is a crossover zone is going to provide a very good support for silver i will be definitely watchful of how it behaves at 22 only and only if it breaks below 22 20 and 22 we can consider this as bearish else a bounce back can be seen there now see Directional movement was so far bullish, it is trying to converge. The stock high stick, which was overbought, has seen a sharp drop. The MACD is willing to converge crossover for a sell. It has seen the high that is looking down here, and the RSI is also looking down, indicating bearishness. Now, look at the monthly charts. On the monthly charts, too, the 20 and 50 period moving average are giving it a support till towards $22 levels, below which little more bearishness is seen. If you look at the directional movement, this is bullish. The stock high stick is overbought and has seen a good drop here. The MACD, which was on the verge of a bullish cross on the monthly charts, has failed to do so. See, I was expecting it to reverse, and that is why I say do not consider silver as bearish till the time it trades about 21 levels. Also, do not consider this as bearish, and yes, it can probably bounce back. It can probably reverse. It, maybe it will take a couple of weeks or more before it tries to reverse on the upside. And hence, this is what we can observe on the monthly chart. The RSI on the monthly charts is looking down, indicating little bearishness. So we have seen the charts, we have seen the indicators. Time for me to define the trading strategy and trading levels for you so that you can profit next week. And before we proceed, yes, if you want to learn this art and tools, techniques and strategies which you can apply 
to anything be it gold silver oil natural gas or be it indices including dow jones nasdaq or any global market or be it cryptocurrency or forex you can join my mentorship batch and learn those strategies such that you can trade profitably reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description reach out to me for more details now let's have a look at the buying levels uh, you can buy here at 2250 levels beyond 2250 you can expect 2260 and 2280 these Till 23, it has got very, very strong resistance on the upside. Now, remember, first I will look forward to 2280 and then 2300. If these two are breached, then only little more bullishness might take it till towards 23, 25, 23, which is going to be an important and strong resistance zone. And only if it breaks past 2370 and 20. Four dollar levels. You can consider this to be in the in the meanwhile twenty three eighty is also a little resistance. However, consider is that twenty four. Now see one point to note down here is first is that twenty three eighty twenty three seventy levels and in fact in twenty four dollar levels do not consider silver as bullish as it has given a strong break on the downside yes there is a possibility of a retracement however the bullish confirmation is only about 24 dollar levels once it trades about 24 consider this for a bullish breakout and possibly we can see a little more rise about this i don't see it happening i can expect there could be a possible little drop but yes because silver has seen a three bearish strong bearish candle there will be a possibility of a retracement on the upside again and hence uh, I will be definitely watchful of there is no selling till 2220 only below 2220 you can expect 22 dollar levels as the major support and see this zone till 2180 levels I will expect that silver can bounce back any point of time remember this is going to be a very very important support zone and silver can bounce back any point of time from these levels it can reverse again it can reverse again and close the week at 23 this possibility also exists here. And hence you should trade with caution till 2180 you have to keep booking profits on the downside because below 2180 directly we may see it lending till towards 2150 and below that 2100 levels in this month of February itself. Take your trades with caution there till 24 I will not consider this as bullish and in fact on the downside till 21 dollar levels should not be bearish at all it can be bound for this is for a long term till 21 dollar levels for a near long term that is a few weeks from now or maybe next couple of months do, if it fails to sustain if it fails to break below 21 dollar levels do not consider this as bearish and there will be always a possibility of a bounce back here hence take your trades accordingly those who want to keep positions can trade accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with the trading stop loss and keep booking profits at every level. Keep re-entering if you see it trading in the same direction. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading week ahead. And do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to join my mentorship batch or signals channel. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading week.